The bottom line, both Democrats and Republicans understand that there's more work to do to pass legislation protecting America's security and the security of the Western world. This week, we made important progress with a special thanks to Senators Murphy and Sinema for their dogged work with Senator Lankford. Negotiations aren't easy. We know it's going to take more time. But I am significantly more optimistic today than I was Thursday when we left, based on the negotiations that have occurred all weekend. <clears throat> we have only one option. We have to succeed. The stakes are too high for America, for Europe, for the Middle East, for the world. We have to send more aid to Ukraine to defeat Putin. We know how. This is a historic moment, as I have said. History will look back if we don't support our ally in Ukraine and regard it as a major negative turning point for the U.S. and the Western world. We know how important that is. We also know that Republicans and Democrats have to continue our negotiation on the border. We have to send aid to Israel. We have to send critical aid to humanitarian aid to innocent uh, civilians in Gaza. As the past few weeks have been clear, Democrats have been willing to engage in good faith, realistic negotiations about border security. We agree the border must be fixed. That is a broad consensus in our, in our caucus. Finding common ground, of course, is difficult, one of the most difficult issues Congress has faced. This has been an intractable issue. The last major bipartisan effort on immigration occurred when Senator McCain and I led the Gang of Eight back in 2013. So we know, I know how hard it is. But the, and the details in this matter immensely, because this is not a topic that Congress has tackled uh, in many years. So we know that. We know that this is going to be not easy to do. But we know, too, that we must get it done. And while we've made important progress over the past week on border security, everyone agrees on both sides that it takes more time. Leader McConnell and I are both more optimistic than before. I think he said something to that effect uh, when he was here a few very minutes much, ago. Very uh, much, Senator Schumer. Um, listen, I'm very grateful to everyone who's been in the room all throughout the weekend trying to get to a solution. Um, ultimately, we um, cannot fail. The fate of the world is at stake. We cannot allow for Vladimir Putin to march into Ukraine and through to Europe. Uh, Republicans have made it clear that they are not willing to vote for Ukraine aid unless we come to a compromise solution on border security and immigration reform. And we are hard at work trying to deliver that compromise. Uh, we have everyone in the room now that we need. I'm grateful to Senator McConnell for his representation. The administration has been in the room. We worked 24-7 all throughout the weekend, and we are closer than ever before to an agreement. But as I've said to many of you, um, we need to get this right. There's a reason why Congress hasn't passed major immigration or border reform in 40 years. This is tough to come to a compromise, and it's just as tough to write to make sure that you get the ideas down onto paper in a way that makes sure that the policy is implemented correctly. Uh, so um, we are meeting as we speak, uh, and uh, as soon as I finish my remarks, I'll get back uh, to the negotiating table. And uh, well, I'm looking forward to having a day and a half off for Christmas with my kids. Um, I'm planning on staying at the negotiating table forever long it takes to get this done. Momentum is um, heading in the right direction, and uh, I think that will continue over the course of this week.